Do you still have energy? I do. Yeah? I do. Uh, I have a lot for you. Good evening. Good evening. I don't see any kind of sweat drop on your face. How, how is that in my God possible? Because I saw you jumping on the stage like your life was depending on it. You don't see anything? Oh, I did my makeup well. Thank you. <laughs> it's all about the makeup. How, how do you feel? I feel absolutely fabulous. I feel really honored to be here. Um, there's nothing like it's nothing like them. Yeah. Can you, if you like, need to rate it in, t in between one and ten? What's the rate of the, the performance and the audience? Ten. <laughs> of course, it is a ten. Of course, it is. Is it like like today? Like it's it's a, like writing pop. It's like a special day. Is it something that you prepare differently than the uh, the gigs that you do uh, during the year and your theater show? No, I actually approach every show that I do the same, whether it's one person in the audience or tens of thousands of people. I go there just happy to be doing what I'm doing, and I try my best to give 110 each and every time. Today you give it 150, I think. Oh, I love you, Ikao. <laughs> Thank you so much. I especially took like a few seconds just to stand over there because the, the show was amazing, the audience was crazy. Is there some way that you um, try to interact with the audience because it's such a mess standing out there? I think it starts with uh, whatever I do off stage. you know, I talk to my audience before I get there. Um, if, I, if I'm in a good place, if I'm not in a good place, I try to get myself to a good place because I like, I may not sound good every time, but I feel good and I think the feeling that I have, I hope they catch on to it and seeing all the young people in the audience today, just, they I could you. cry. It's just, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. If you, if you consider the situation as we are living in right now, mm. it's a serious question yeah. what's coming up. Um, like freedom, do, do you consider the freedom in the optimum form right now? I don't find that we have freedom. I think it's something that has to be uh, dealt with individually and then spread out. But right now, I think everybody's in a, a bubble. And even if you don't realize that we're in a bubble, either we're, I don't know if I can use the word, but I have to, slave to the internet, slave to the news, which I love you. But you know what I mean? We're, we're slave to everything. And everything dictates how we move. Even if we don't want to move, we move to what other people want us to move to. I want to get back to, and I don't even know if we were ever there, but I want to get to a point where I have the freedom to be, to feel, to say, without hurting anyone, you know, so that we can have a better understanding, so that we can have more freedom, with even within ourselves, you know. And so right now, I don't feel very free, you know, but I'm an optimist. What should we do about it? Do exactly what we're doing, having conversations about it, not being afraid to have a conversation with the tough, tough subjects. Um, talk about any and everything, but let it come from a place of love and from a place of wanting to understand more. Um, I think then it'll get better. Don't hide it. Don't erase it. Don't put a, a um, how do you say, I forget the word. I don't even speak English well, but it's a word where don't put a censor on it to where we can't talk yeah. about it. Don't cancel people for talking about it, you know? Yeah. You keep doing what you're doing and maybe it will be better. Trying to do our best. Yeah. Um, one last thing. Um, in the preparation, I saw that you probably are the most busiest woman <laughs> alive since you have like two bands right now, if I understand correctly. You have a theater show. Yes. You have three ch kids walking around. Can you give like one way how to deal with this for all those who think with their normal jobs like from 9 to 5 and one kid? How do you cope? Well, I'm glad you did your homework, but my kids are grown, so I, I pretty much have a little freedom there. Okay. But I believe in what I'm doing and I, I surround myself with people who also believe in what we're doing and where there's a will, there's a way. That's it. That's it. As it seems. Thank you very much, Michelle David. Thank An you. extremely awesome gig. Again, Bless thank you very much. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.